Hello friends, today we are going to deal with the platinum resistance thermometer. <coughs> Already we have the designed the mercury thermometer. Mercury thermometer <coughs> which consists the mercury as a substance which can expire after giving the heat and when you take the heat away from it then it compresses the expansion and compressions are relatively good with the temperature given and taken out but this is the property of mercury so the mercury has different properties other than this also expansion and compression we have seen the construction of the mercury thermometer similarly there are some materials which can be shows the temperature difference then their property changes one property is nothing but the resistance <coughs> one property is the resistance of a particular material so when you increase the temperature the resistance of the material changes you decrease the temperature resistance again changes so the change in resistance related to the that the temperature then we can measure the temperature of that uh, surrounding by using the measuring the resistance of that wire or of that material so the platinum is one of the example where we can construct the platinum resistance thermometer it's a very easy construction it takes they are like a that is the mercury thermometer it takes the one glass tube a long glass tube this glass tube initially evaporated this is a glass tube it is a, there is a one cap this is a cap of ebonite cap this is called ebonite cap cap so now initially this thermometer is evaporated that means air is taken away out then the three mica sheets are inserted these are the mica sheets that is non conducting mica sheets one this is second and this is third these three sheets are inserted at certain distances to separate these wires only the mica sheets are non conducting materials so now these are utilized to only separate the wires so these are the mica sheets then we are going to insert one the reference wire this o and o is a reference wire this wire is long one taken away from this one and this is the two terminals o and o are the two terminals of reference wire and the wire of which resistance is to be measured this wire is pp that is platinum wire this is the wire it is taken in a helical structure on once again wound on mica sheet this is mica sheet this blue color is a mica sheet on which the wire is wound this wire is the of platinum now the platinum changes the its resistance according to the temperature so when it is taken that is this wire that is the material this uh, thermometer is dipped in certain that the material then its temperature changes temperature changes is the according to resistance changes we can uh, that the use these four terminals to connect in external circuit and measure the voltage and current and uh, similarly we are going to measure the resistance so that is the four way key and other circuits are used to measure the that the resistance of wire so when the resistance of the wire is measured now we are going to deal with the theory before that this resistance thermometer is developed by simon <coughs> this is developed by simon in 1700 century so this is the simon and then it is that the uh, calendar this is again calendar and grip the calendar and grip this developed the system of measurement of the resistance so the simon is a one person who developed who tried to develop the thermometer this thermometer is then well calibrated by using calendar and grip these these are the two names of two scientists then 
This thermometer is also called as the calibration of this resistance by calendar Griffith's method. So for that, to measure the resistance, we are going to see the first of all thing. So now this is the thing. Suppose this wire has three resistances at three temperatures. Suppose at zero degree centigrade, this wire has the R zero resistance. So at zero degree temperature, the resistance of this wire is R zero. Then at T degree temperature, at any temperature T degree, the resistance of the wire. Now we are going to suppose that R T. Similarly, at 100 degree centigrade, the resistance of wire, of wire is suppose this is R100. So what we are suppose? We are suppose at zero degree temperature, the resistance of the wire is R0. T degree temperature, T degree centigrade, our resistance of the wire R2. And at 100 degree centigrade, the resistance of wire is an R100. Do you understand? Now we are going to find out the relation between these three. So the relation is already you know in 12th standard that relation is given by RT is equal to R0 1 plus 1 plus alpha into T. So where alpha is the constant. Alpha is a constant quantity. So RT is resistance as T degree temperature. R0 is resistance as 0 degree temperature. Then alpha is a constant and T is the temperature of the material. Is it? So now RT is the resistance of wire at T degree temperature. From this relation, we can, can calculate RT is equal to, we can multiply inside. So R0, it becomes R0 into 1 R0 plus R0 alpha T. Do you understand? This is the equation of one. This is the equation R T is R T is equal to R0 R0 is equal to R0 R0 is R0 is equal to R0 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 at the next relation, this general relation, upon 100 degree temperature, at 100 degree temperature, it becomes R100 is equal to R0. This relation, but T is 100 put up. R0, 1 plus alpha T is equal to T is equal to 100. Then, we can calculate. R100 is equal to, this becomes R100 is equal to R0 yala, e kila multiply kila, R0 yala. Bro, tell us the R0, e chan me R0 multiply kila, the kind of R0 alpha into 100. Equation number 2. Yes, I'm going to talk about. Tell us the, at the equation 1, he ka e, equation 1 e kami dito. Equation 1 is gives RT minus R0 is equal to R0 alpha T. Hey, RT either I have a cylinder R0 equal to plus for there, equal to the minus will that is equal to R0 alpha T. R0 alpha T. The step of the dinner equation number 2 ka yi yi equation number 11 3 money equation number 2 ka yi equation number 2 that is R100 minus R0 R0 equal to minus alpha that is equal to ka yi R0 alpha into 100. Equation number 4. Here the only equations are upon division. So divide equation 3 by equation 4. Or equation 4 by equation 3. What will you get? If you have the domain ratio, then what do you mean? If you have the same thing, you can say that RT is equal to R0. Pure relation upon already upon the equation. तो जब मुझे थोड़ा सा डेवलप किया लो आपने लाइक हे इक्वेशन डाले लो तो डेट इस आर टी माइनस आर जीरो इज़ कॉल्ड टू आर टी आर जीरो अल्फा टी तब अंदर तेज़ा एवरेज़ है हंड्रेड टेम्परेचर के वाला हंड्रेड टेम्परेचर लाप लो लाइक एवरेज़ बना लो क्या दोनों सा आपन रेशियो दिया सो टेकिंग � Divided by right hand, the left hand side scar cell with Prat Nitalibia R100 minus R0. So, well, that is equal to left hand side, right hand side, R0 alpha into T. 
डिवाइडेड बाय एन 100 इनटू r0 अल्फा बरोबर इथं r0 अल्फा r0 अल्फा कॅन्सल झाला काय मिळाले बघा आपल्याला की वी गेट द रिलेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ t दैट इज r t minus r0 डिवाइडेड बाय r100 minus r0 that is equal to t divided by 100 that means t is equal to काय मिळेल t is equal to हे 100 याला डिवाइड मल्टीप्लाई करा म्हणजे काय मिळेल बघा की r t minus r0 divided by r100 minus r0 into 100 so this is the relation to calculate the resistance uh, the temperature of the system by measuring the resistance at different temperatures. Do you understand? So what that relation gives? T is equal to T means temperature. Ki the temperature is the temperature. Then ya wire so ya very ki the resistance hai. Zero degree la ki the resistance hai. Then constant dil jai. Hundred degree la ki the resistance hai. Then hi dil jai. Means R zero R zero ani R hundred la plus dil. तर रेजिस्टेंस फक्त याचा कॅल्क्युलेट केला तर आपल्याला टेंपरेचर ला तर आपल्याला या रिलेशनच्या सहाय्याने काय कॅल्क्युलेट करता येईल टेंपरेचर कॅल्क्युलेट करता येईल सो बाय यूजिंग द प्लॅटिनम रेजिस्टेंस थर्मामीटर वन कॅन डिटरमाइन द टेंपरेचर इन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड दैट इज इक्वल टू 1 बाय आर टी माइनस आर 0 डिवाइडेड बाय आर 100 माइनस आर 0 इनटू 100 डू अंडरस्टैंड ओके थैंक यू